Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Book nice coming at you with the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Serpentor and Air Chariot box set review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Out here. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends. Imports. Many made the I'm fucking with. Hype beast we know about. You. Stay buying figs. Don't know about. Number 57 on the side, same deal on the opposite side, and some very cool artwork on the back. All right, let's bust this bad boy open and see what's what. Quick look on the inside. I had already taken him out of the package. That's why his uh, cloak, his cape looks a little off because it's actually supposed to be underneath him in the clamshell there. But yeah, bro, this guy is really, really nice. This must be the largest G.I. Joe classified figure so far. Is he larger than Sergeant Slaughter? Of course, I'll get Slaughter out here for a size comparison at some point. Really, really impressed with this guy out of the package. He looks great. It's a big hunk of plastic here. <laughs> this is a beefy figure. Pause, pause, pause. But my initial reaction is that I really, really like this guy so far. So let's bust out the accessories that he comes with. Give you a closer look at some of the details here on him. That head sculpt, just looking mean. All of the details, the green and gold, all of the textures. Looks like they spared no expense. I mean, this, <laughs> this was a $94 figure. And while there is no bendy wire in the cape, that would have really taken this over the top. It is nice. Uh, it's better than it looks in pictures, that's for sure. You know, it resembles snake skin even here on the cape and as you saw in the opener it sits really nice when you just have them standing upright lots of nice details so quite a few things to go through here in terms of accessories you can see on his right forearm a little peg hole there so I assume something's gonna plug in right there I already see one little minor thing that I'm not pleased with and I mean that's something that's across the board in terms of the GI Joe classified line I don't think he's packed in with any fists or any interchangeable hands unfortunately I may be wrong I don't know. I haven't watched any reviews and I'm just now starting to open up the pack, but let's see what he has. All right. I think I separated everything that can go on his person or that he can hold from the accessories that go to his air chariot. And so let me start fitting him with some of that stuff. So he's got a couple of versions of this little claw apparatus. There's one where it looks like the claws are retracted, which is the one you see here, but there's also another with the claws extended. I'll fit both of these on. Here's a look at that. And there's the extended extended version and I swear he could have used some fist and then he's packed in with a sword which looks pretty good he's got a staff and his sort of cobra themed design He's also got this sort of erect, elongated version of the snake. You know that he can pull these snakes off that's around his uh, shoulders and they'll kind of stiffen and he can throw them. You know, he stabbed Duke in the movie with one of these. So that's cool. And then it should be noted that this entire cobra head pegs into his back, but it also pegs into the top of the head and you can remove it. And there is an additional version that you can plug in, which is two separate parts. So that allows you to articulate his head and neck without that entire apparatus hindering any of the articulation now you could actually use the version as all one solid piece and just kind of disconnect the tab here from the peg hole in his back and still move his head and neck but obviously the two separate parts are the ones that you should really interchange if you don't want to screw anything up but with that said the head and neck move independently of each other so you do get a decent range of motion on the head and neck shoulders on ball joints they'll come up about that far of course you can do a full 360 there's the upper bicep swivel double jointed elbows swivel and hinges on the wrist there's upper torso articulation is a ball peg there in the upper torso you can actually rotate him at the waist as well and then you get a little bit of lower abdominal articulation although there is no cut in the abdomen t joint at the pelvis legs will come up that far upper thigh swivel double jointed knee that's actually still hindered a bit no rotation at the calf or the shin but you do get a hinge and a nice deep ankle pivot and i'm lying you do actually get rotated at the upper boot and it should be noted that there's a drop down mechanism at the uh, pelvis as well so yeah my two minor issues so far is that there are no other additional interchangeable hands and that I wish there was some bendy wire in his cape cloak vest thing whatever that is should be noted that there's also this additional Cobra snake it's kind of fixed in this position he looks like he's brown a little bit of like beige and then his chariot comes packed in in a few different parts this is the bulk of it here then there's the upper portion here looks like it's got 
got a little ball peg down there at the bottom. This looks like a couple of tabs or flaps for some portion of the wings and what looks like this steering column and then some guns and some tubing. So I'll get this all plugged in. These are the actual guns for the record. And there's that. I think I got everything attached properly. Kind of wish the guns were like strapped in a little tighter, but it is what it is. I do believe I have everything plugged in properly. And it should be noted there is some little landing gear under here so you can, you know, plug those in or extend them and that'll get the chariot up off the ground a bit. Probably be able to get an ACBA flight stand down there in that little area where the uh, landing gear can extend. So should be able to get them in a nice flying pose. And there we go. Something simple. I got them up on a couple of flight stands. Got them kind of hidden with some smoke effects. Shout out to my man Pancheesy. I'm utilizing a couple of his dynamic little dusties here in the background and the foreground. All right. A couple quick size comparisons. Here we have Baroness on the left the first baroness that they put out i believe with her cobra coil motorcycle i did want to get the other vehicle that they released out here in breakers motorcycle but i left that at work but just an idea where we're going in terms of vehicles with the six inch line as you know the his tank will be out later this year but yeah i just wanted to get serpento up on his air chariot here in this comparison on the far right we have destro and then there he is with some cobra leadership i guess we've got major blood on the far left we have cobra commander and then on serpentor's immediate left destro again the baroness as you can see he's towering over all of these guys and this lady and there he is with a few troopers and one of the twins crimson guard viper cobra officer and there he is with some Joes. Dusty on the far left. Outback. Sergeant Slaughter, who he is actually taller than, just by a tad bit. And Gung Ho on the right. I need that updated retro carded Gung Ho that's closer to the uh, cartoon colors. But yeah, he definitely needed some uh, bendy wire in this cape. Some interchangeable hands. And you know what? He needed an angry gritted teeth head sculpt as well. How they miss that? Definitely not a missed opportunity here because I know there will be another Serpentor from the Classified Series line. That's probably when they'll give you some additional head sculpts but yeah other than that the chariot could probably use a little wash a little detailing but it's a great figure is it 94 dollars great yeah maybe